Okay, so we're going to get started on my nail polish drawer. This is the top drawer of my Alex 9 drawers. Um, actually, I'm going to leave my slippers on because my feet are atrocious. So at the front, I'm just going to get right into it. At the front, I have some fake nails in this little pouch. I have Olive and June stickers and some like um, nail nail stickers. So those we're gonna keep. Then I have all of these tools. So I have some nail files, which I guess are in still good condition. Um, a tinkle razor for my face, but I'm not gonna leave that there. I have a julep nail cuticle, cuticle um, nail and cuticle serum, which I've never used, so I will be sure to do that. Then I have a julep. I think it's julep yeah clean slate like nail polish remover pen which i have used and it does work actually really well and those are replacement heads so we're gonna keep those um two pairs of lady tweezers um this is juara hand and nail balm i'm pretty sure this is expired so i'm gonna throw it out a pair of scissors nail file and Anastasia tweezers, which are really good. In this little diptyque candle jar, I have some nail glue, two nail tweezers, and julep cuticle oil, which I'm gonna keep. I have this, the Fix um, nail polish, which is a nail treatment. I'm pretty sure it's expired, and I have other nail treatments that I like better, so I might throw that out. Some Orly Flash Dry Drops, which are almost done. I think I'll keep them for now. Some Ella and Mila Quick Dry Drops, which I really like. I like them better than the Orly. I have to get new a uh, new one. NCLA So Rich Cuticle Serum. Cuticle Oil, which I am going to keep. This is just garbage. So, I have my nail polish organized in these... Um, like acrylic containers, but then I also have a lot more nail polish here. So what I'm going to do is um, we're going to move all of the dark nail polish to the back and bring all the light nail polish to the front. Let me see. So these are all going to the back. These are all my... Um, I'm gonna lean, I'm gonna kneel down because this it might be easier for me. Yeah. So these are all going into the back. Um these are going into the back. This is a ugh, like RNG nail polish, which I think is good also gonna go to the back. Um Wicked going to the back, imported bubbly gonna stay up front oh, some of these nail polishes look like they're going bad um but this I just got this year and it already looks like it's going bad it's weird um homegrown is gonna stay in the front on the bright side or stay and go to the back feeling wellies I just got that's gonna stay up front Gorgeous geodes, same front. Rocky Rose, I really like this color. I didn't wear it a lot. We're gonna throw out Leggy Legend because it's all separated, so that's garbage. Um, teacup half full, I might leave up front. Truth or Bear, it's a little separated, but I'll keep it. And Gora Cardi, this is a new one. Stop, drop, and chop. These are all going to the back. Um, I think it's time to throw out Summit of Style. You can see it's all gross, so that's throwing out. And Mink Muffs is the old brush. Essie has like a new brush and an old brush. This is the really thin brush. I think I'm going to throw it out because I'm not a huge fan of it. These are all my gel couture polishes but as you can see they're all separated so I'm going to throw them all out and I also don't reach for them 
So we're done with those. Done with these. These are my... Oh, I'm shaking each of them to see if they're like still good. This this OPI, this is from the Breakfast at Tiffany's collection. And it says, I, it's the I Believe in Manicures. And I just love this blue so much, I might never get rid of it. Piazza Cake and Pink Ladies. So these, the, I'm going to keep these up front. This is going to the back. I'm just going to clear these out. Those are all. And we're done with this. Okay. This Essie Don't Be Chocolate Late going to the back. This Seche Vite is going to get thrown out because it's really old. This is also from the Breakfast at Tiffany's collection, Sunrise Bedtime. I'm going to keep it. But that's going to stay up front. That's going to the back. These, this Apreece cheek is getting thrown out you can see how gross it is um generation zen and cashmere bathrobe generation zen is fairly new so i'm gonna keep that cashmere bathrobe still looks like it's in good condition so we're gonna keep that it's just gonna go to the back this is a brand new top coat speed setter i haven't even used it yet so that's this is also, this is Got the Mean Reds from the Breakfast at Tiffany's collection. It's staying up front. Um, these, this is the Expressy Might Misfit Right In. I wasn't crazy about this formula. It's going to go to the back. These are, this is a Julep top coat. I mean, base coat treatment. It's going to stay. OPI um, Grease Collection, Don't Cry Over Spilled Milkshakes is going to stay up front. This Ella and Mila Time for a Bonfire. I love this color. I think I might use it next, but it's staying up front. Without Reservations, going to the back. And Off Tropics, going to the back. This is a random fake nail. This is the Nails Ink Caffeine Polish in Afternoon Mocha. I'm going to put it to the back. And this is a nail cleaner, which I think I'm going to keep for now. This is another caffeine, but it's a little lighter and it's Chai Kiss. I think I'm going to keep it in the front because I've just been craving a brown nail, even in this winter. When they've, oh my god, I can't speak. Even in the spring, because it is quarantine, and sometimes I just want to feel cozy. Um, into the Abyss, and Talk Sweet to Me, and I think this is Fiji. Fiji stain all up front. This is the color I have on my nails right now. I see Happy Medium staying up front. Some are staying up front because I bought them or recently got them. This is so cute. It was my cousin's baby shower, and she had... Fiji ballet slippers and this um a cut above with like the little bow so this is ballet slippers which I haven't owned and the pink top coat staying up front this is an olive and june color that I haven't used yet in BP oh cute um so this is staying up front another julep a um Essie top coat and bubble bath which I haven't used yet I'm sorry if that I'm like kind of out of focus it's I'm using a new tripod and um, I don't know if everything's like in focus yet this is disgusting so I have to clean it okay so we're gonna see what's back here this is party at Holly this is another OPI breakfast at Tiffany's another expressi and a and mercury on uh, SC polish. I'm gonna keep this up front. Um, oh goodness, we're gonna throw out this. Whoop! Whoa! Come on! What the? Okay, we're gonna throw out this Sally Hansen. We're gonna throw out this Julep, and this is from the hot from the breakfast at Tiffany's. It's apartment for two. I just can't bring myself to throw these away, but we're gonna keep it in the front. Okay, we're gonna throw out this Smith and Colt. It is 
Vegas post-apocalyptic. I'm just never going to use it again, so we're going to throw it out, and I'm pretty sure it's, like, bad. Um, this is another Mercury collection. I have all the colors from the Mercury collection for, for um, SC because I'm obsessed with Mercury and retrograde and astrology. We're going to keep this in the front. This is a treat, SC treat in color. We're going to throw it out. Oh, I have this whole thing. This is an Orly nail defense. It's brand new. I forgot about it. Um, this is Frenchie Likes to Kiss from the Grease Collection. Going to keep it up front. Um, this is Mint Candy Apple and Coral Coast. I don't know what these look like. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to keep them both. They look so nice together and see what see how they are um how I use them this summer this is garbage I don't really know what it is but we're gonna keep these in the front this is status symbol I got it from TJ Maxx I'm gonna throw it out this Jinsoon in Vogue Rose I got from a birch box like years ago um it feels like a little rough so I'm gonna throw it out this is another Ella and Mila. I just got this last year and it's all like orange at the top. This is pink teeny. I'm going to keep it and see how it reacts. Oh, I said so I'm going to throw this out and we're going to keep Frenchie Likes to Kiss. This. All right. This is Beautiful Horizon. It's all separated. We're going to throw it out. Babes in the Booth. This is a nice hot pink color, but, oh yeah, and it's a new brush, so it's relatively new, so I'm going to keep it. Strike a Rose, this was part of their matte, Essie's matte collection last year, and I did not like it. Um, I think I'm going to throw it out, and this is really old, hot in the heat, we're going to throw them out. This is a, oh, I love this color, and I didn't wear it at all this season. It's Sweet Caramel Sydney. Um, it's a little watery at the top. I don't know if you could see that, but I'm going to keep it, and we're going to put it back in the back. Oh, two manicure kits, which I will keep. Oh, one is from, I have no idea who Bertha is, and one is from NCLA. Okay, so we have Bikini Sotini. It's all separated. I'm pretty sure I need a new one. Yep, we're going to buy a new one of this because it's my fav all-time favorite color for this season. This is another Ring the Buzzer again. This is Breakfast at Tiffany's. Going to keep it, put it in the back. This is Enough is Enough, um, like a hot pink coral. It's all separated. It's quite old, throwing it out. Another Mercury, Keep Calm. The the first collection that they did of this, and I, I can I'll try to see if I could link my Manicure Monday blog post about it, but they were horrible. So it was this one and these. These two were the first and they were atrocious, but I'm gonna keep them. You had to use like six, five or six coats to like get it like looking good. It was ridiculous. But I'm gonna keep them both and I'm gonna keep them at the front. This is Fondant of You. It's all separated at the top, so we're going to throw it out. This is No Stopping Me Now. I don't know where I got this from, but uh, I'll keep it and try it. I don't think it's that old. I'm not sure. This is a Chanel nail polish that I got from one of my Sorari sisters. Um, I'm going to keep it just for, like for sentimental reasons. Preta Surfer, another fan well, not maybe not fan favorite but my favorite but it's all separated and I need a new one so we're gonna get a new one of that this year this is Barbados blue favorite but separated has gone bad I'm gonna throw it out oh we're gonna throw out beautiful horizon and this is another meet my decorator um this is kind of this is like a true red I'm gonna keep it at the front and that is that we're getting rid of a ton of um we're getting rid of a ton of nail polish but and 
those are all going to the back. Sorry, excuse my feet. These are all getting thrown out. So I will organize, clean this, organize it, and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's all organized and it's different from what I had originally. So I have my fake nails. Whoopsies. My feet, I'm sorry. It's like really annoying me. I have my fake nails, my tools, the manicure kits. Oopsies, in the back, if you can see. Then I have all my treatments and top coats over here. They were over here before, or like in the front, but I like them better over here. Then I have it organized by, these are all my pink Essie polishes, my OPIs, my Mercury Astrology Collections. These are like the blues and oranges, more blues and oranges, or like blues, reds, oranges. Then like... OPI top coat, some Ella and Mila, like some, and then these are just like random. So my nails, ink, Chanel, and OPI. So it's like organized by brand and by color, which I really like. Um, but yeah, so that's my nail polish drawer. I hope you liked it. Um, and thank you for watching. Bye.